Hi, my name is George Ann Eubanks. I'm the writer of the Literary Trails of North Carolina guidebook series. In 1905, in the course of just one year, two very notable American authors visited the Biltmore House, visited George Vanderbilt in Asheville. The first was Henry James, the man who wrote Daisy Miller and Turn of the Screw. James was sort of a severe character and he rode the train down from the Northeast. He went through the backyards of extreme poverty and he saw things he had never seen before in Appalachia. When he got to the Biltmore House, he found it offensive. It was so, so garish, so colossal, so much money. He wrote to his good friend Edith Wharton, the author of House of Mirth, a novel about rich people, and he said, this place is terrible. They sent me to a room at the end of a long hall. It's freezing here. It's snowing. Overnight, I got so cold my teeth chattered and one of them popped out and hit the pillow. He was not a happy camper. Well, Edith Wharton, as it turned out, would visit at Christmas. This was January, and she came at Christmas time to visit the Vanderbilts. And she brought them a copy of her book that mocked them, The House of Mirth. She thought the Biltmore House was glorious, and she wrote Henry James to tell him. The weather was not cold. The Carolina jasmine was still blooming in the gardens. She had a fabulous time. So two authors disagreed about the Biltmore House. They're now remembered with suites, elegant suites, in the Biltmore Inn, adjacent to the grand Biltmore House. Music